how rude those teams corrupting our trash talk. <laughs> All right, so here we go, guys. Round three, Radical versus Hard Day. Here we go. Radical Asmarine starting up in control, and a pipeline spawn for Hard Day as aliens. Not too bad now because of the change in the map, but they're just coming through the dome, spreading out into Nano. And there they go, assisting right to Nano as aliens always do. Flex and Psycho. Now, what I've seen on this map sometimes that works out is fast phase gates into system waypointing, um, which basically gives you a nice springboard in the subsector and cargo, but that usually works way in the beginning if they actually spawn there. And yeah, I really like seeing Hate spawning down in Purping, putting basically putting this new layout already to a test. And yeah, let's let's see how this unfolds. I, I'm really uh, yeah. nice little skirmish happening there in Y Junction, where Hard Day cleans up that Marine offensive. Got Draco and Allen now moving down into C12. Wob and Snellifant around the corner. They're just gonna meet. Oh, wow, they take his head off, and Snellifant up against Allen. Allen is out of ammo. Nice med back dropping. Oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> this was an expensive fight. Though, that was an ex- Yeah, means. I was just about to say, I don't know if you want to like, I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> that was a lot of resources dropped uh, just to keep that one Marine alive. Now Psycho f uh, and Flex. With Allen on the other side, moving into Nano, they have gorged up Nano. Oh, nice little Hydra farm. And Flex forced out of there, and oh, nice. Going in from two sides, by the looks of it, but, well... The left <laughs> side hard. is gone. Draco and Allen left, the gorge is dead. Draco ends up going down, Allen is gonna get cleaned up, but not before he takes down Snellifant that was coming up on his flank. And, and he starts once backing again, off. The lone survivor, already 4 and 0 here. Yeah, he's very he's... lucky. <laughs> right now. We got Flex now coming down in the system waypointing, taking some uh, chip shots at JB Twist. But I really like that uh, Left Steel is, in the meantime, still continuing to cap resource towers on the subexes. Uh, Subsector side. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Keep the resources up. I mean, they. I, I haven't seen much resource uh, harassing from Radical. They're sitting on five right now versus four harvesters, four hard day. And it's it's really hard to actually get a hold of nanogrid as Marines if aliens defend it properly, as those two walkways into nanogrid are very very small. Making it such a great place for Ian to engage. And we just see a nice transition here by Radical. They, they really don't care about Nanogrid that much anymore, as we do see them now moving into cargo, might even apply pressure you know, onto. And, and that's great, because what you just said, you know, they're, they're ignoring Nano right now. I have seen teams, and I say it almost every time I see this map being played, I have seen teams commit, commit, and commit to try to take Nano, only to fail every time, and they lose all that time, all those resources, trying to do it. Meanwhile, while they're trying to commit into Nano, uh, the alien team is just expanding and gathering resources everywhere else, and then a explosion happens, and bam! You know, they get rolled. So it's really good that Radical is kind of keeping that um, away. We got Levsteel and Flex moving into Hard Day's main pipeline spawn. Oh. And Wop just respawned, taking wow. down one. But all this damage they they do now, it's it's it, it really delays aliens once again and Especially with aliens having nano grid. It's it's so crucial because aliens feel pretty confident with just three resource towers, and once again, Nanogrid is so hard to engage in. I mean, right now they could potentially get in, but then again, there's three hydras still in there. 
Flex and Psycho oh. coming in on Skylights. JB Twist hearing them walk by as he's probably going to pounce on that 79% Skylights RT. He does. Observatory has been placed, but Flex and Psycho are just going to let that go because they're going to let Lev Steel try to take care of that as JB Twist skedaddles into the vents. Nice little skirmish happening in Y Junction with shotguns. Psycho up against Malga. Oh! Oh! Wow, nice job! Great med packing there! And they do live through that! Snellifant nice. getting pushed back! Nice winning on the engagements very, very there. Nice job there. Yeah, Harvester going down in C12 that uh, Alan and Draco just took out. Wob hot on their hot on their tail. JB Twist against Levsteel still against this, <laughs> this Skylights RT fight. <laughs> And denying the expansion down in cargo is Psycho and Flex. Oh, the Lurk went down in the corner wow. of cargo. What great shooting there from across the way. And this time we do see Draco doing pretty much the same, uh, which uh, Hardy did to them on, uh, on Summit, applying pressure on all sides. You see cargo. 44% left. Nanograde yep. uh, taking some very nice damage. Yeah, nice. Um, oh my god, 21% on that. The, at that <laughs> hard lag. <laughs> oh, these guys. They are so funny together and they take like little verbal shots at each other, but it's all in good fun. These guys know each other so well. All right, Psycho and Flex now moving into system waypointing with shotguns. This is good. Radical playing a nice, strong game. They got to keep applying the pressure right now. I mean, those fades are going to be out in a few minutes. We got two in their 40s right now. That's JB Twist and Malga. Malga, re or I'm sorry, JB Twist really close at 47. And a fight happening yeah. down here in Cargo. Those five extractors really paying off here. Oh, Look how day. shortened the time is, you know? Seven yeah, minutes just... and they're already there. Oh! oh! Another lurk goes down! That's a second lurk! Psycho is the only one standing above all these <laughs> alien bodies! <laughs> and right away, taunting. <laughs> and taunting right day, away! <laughs> but unfortunately, oh, it looks like he didn't see that gorge tunnel up there in cargo. And now we do see... Oh, oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> He is in Very trouble. Fast. Reinforcements there. Oh! Nice shot! This is how he is! Look at that! Woo! And now he knows about the Gorge Town already. Heading for it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh my god! He's on fire! This is the radical! This is the psycho I know! And in the meantime, Drake on Ellen just took down Nanogrid. So this is. This is. Radical turning it around now. And yeah, Radical turning on the top gear in this round three match. Come on, guys! Jesus Christ! I, I really thought we we wouldn't see any more thrill than that uh, second game on Summit. Oh wow! This, it's it's only getting better. Oh yeah, <laughs> Alan and Draco cleaning up Nano Grid right now. And they have just cleaned up cargo. Face tech has started. Their hard day is back down on two extract, two harvesters versus four for radical. Great uh, job. Things, but things will get really ugly now as we do see JB twist up on 53 resources. Marga. Be Beautiful. Oh my god! That was so awesome. He scanned up in topo, saw all these skulks coming, and. Beacon before they could even get to the base. That was beautiful timing by Nexon. Wow. But this beacon could be very, very costly for uh, for Radical, as we do see it. Yep. Be being reclaimed right away. That um, means desperately trying to head down there. But yeah. that power node is going to go down. Power node and nano is down, and I, you know, I, I, I agree with you that definitely stopped the momentum Radical had. I mean, with, if he didn't see that early, a beacon would have happened anyways. Three skulks in your base, and no one there, you're gonna want a beacon anyways. So that push maybe could have been stopped. But now Draco and Levsteel up against all these people in nano. 
Oh my Ooh. gosh! Wow. They do take it! They do take it! <laughs> oh! Great job, Radical, holding down Nano against them, and now they're putting pressure on Nano, and in Cargo, they got Psycho putting pressure down on that RT as well. And in C12, putting pressure. I mean, they're all over the place. And more, most importantly, they are denying Aliens this secondary um, tech point. We do oh, see yeah. Wop now up first fade, but once again, it's... It's just, um, it's only Shadow Step fate, and those can can be brought down quite easy. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, they're uh, upgrades for Radical right now. Uh, weapons one, armor one. JB Twist just takes down Lev Steel in wide junction as they push towards Nano. Here comes Draco. Oh my God! Yo, yeah. Face Gate is online. And they get cleaned up. Great job. <laughs> Extractor's going down! Wow, what a match! Um, but we do see Mogger doing a very nice job as taking down the whole western side of the marine resource towers. Yeah, they are down to one Extractor, two now, as one's being built, but they're getting uh, the other one up in Nano. They have a phase gate there, so they have a nice foothold. Sis chain back in cargo. We're going to probably see some crags being dropped there. Before the Hive gets dropped, they have 46, and they, nope, they drop the Hive. And Mythosiris is there to defend. And now, Radical needs a money scan. If they scan this Hive in time, with only now, well, it's two fades up now, but... Once again, it's, it's just, uh, just those shadow stepping fades. And with some good shotgun positioning, they die down. They, they go down like flies. Yeah. Well, you know, Hot Radical is gonna need to start taking down some fades here. Wow, Malga running over Flex in Skylights. These fades are doing a lot of damage. We're gonna need uh, Radical is gonna need to invest in armor too pretty soon to get a little bit of swipe deflection going. And good thing is, with this uh, nano good foothold they got now, they can quite easily hold five resource stars, and that's pretty much all you want. Oh wow! Wob actually getting pretty low there. Pretty low, yeah. Psycho, really good with that shotgun. Gorge Tunnel has linked up pipeline and cargo. Flex rebuilding that RT there, that's going to bring them up to four. Yeah, they, they really need to watch out, they cannot overextend now. Radical are behind, they need to play it smart now. Oh, face oh, gate under attack! Man. Are they going to be able to get there in time? 40% on that as Draco rounds the corner and Marine starts spawning in! Uh, it should be safe. On fire! Draco does take down Snellephant! And they are repairing that. 28% being repaired. Radical needs to get some pressure teams out on this map. But these fades are making it so hard for them to do that. Look at JB Twist's p -res. Keep an eye on that. 67 right now. Saving uh, for definitely is, Yeah. And that's, that's a very, very... Good choice here. They they were ahead so nicely in the early game. They had so many resource towers. Sprint ahead in tech. And with that owners, Marines are still down to only weapons one. They they can basically do nothing against the owners once it hits the field. Especially now with cargo finished, that owners has everything at once. It will have uh, carapace as well as most likely. Uh, celerity, and at that point, you, you're not going to, to kite that on us around anymore. And, you know, interesting face turn in subsector. Subsector that is definitely going to go down. 71 resource, three fades on the field. Oh no. This game has turned about in a heartbeat, and you know what? I mean, arguably. It could have been that beacon. 
Yeah, they, they, I think, especially with <clears throat> with that uh, scan into Turpo, spotting it so early on, I think at that point, two Marines should have just killed themselves to respawn in base. They do have two IPs, and they would have easily been able to hold that base with uh, with those three Marines when the commander gets out. So, Beacon was light of a reaction, probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they can't right now. Um, they can't right now seem to take down any of the fades. We got Malga at... Uh, sorry. Whoops, where is he? Yeah, we got Malga really <laughs> low. RT just went down in Topo and they sisted into there. Um, Subsector yeah. now has been just scanned when they got a sis chain going in there as well. Hard day is all over the map. They have recovered so nicely. Oh. There we go, JB Twist heading back into Pipeline, egging up, and now we have an Onus on the way. Oh boy, so Onus now on the field. Pretty yeah, soon, Phase go. Gate going down in Subsector, Allen, Psycho, and Draco in there. They have to know that there is an Onus coming pretty soon. Malga, Mythosiris, and Snellephant coming in to Nano, taking down Flex. That Phase Gate oh. is in trouble. And only one Marine about to face through. Now with the two respawners, but I doubt this is going to be enough. Oh, it's like barely. Yeah, they lost Wob on the map. I don't know where that engagement was, but that Onos is here in Nano. I mean, they can hear that rumbling you. of that Onos. They have to. While he's sneaking right now, I'm not sure if you can hear the sneaking from so far away. Oh, well, oh, there we they go. should know now. <laughs> they should know now that he's coming in. There he comes! Onos and Nano! Oh, with the base gate, we'll base gate is toast! And now they're working on... Wob is working on the power. We got JB Twist moving now into Subsector. Where he is just going to try to wreck these Marines all over the place! Wow, Radical, all over, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes, they're attacking the phase gate there. Wow, and in just a few minutes, this game has turned completely around. Hard day coming from the back of their heels back into this match. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love those, those taunts going all the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's no way for them to save Wob from taking down those RTs in Nano. If they take those down, they're going to be down to just one. Um, they do have, thanks you losing, they do have a Phase Gate, Lev Steel sneaking around, Phase Gate going up in the neck, 100% on that power. It looks like they're going to try to head one last time in the pipeline. <laughs> and apparently I mean, everyone loves bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Um, they're gonna try one more. Um, they're gonna try one more push. There they go. All of them now coming into the neck. They're coming into pipe uh, pipeline. And this now time, either Hard Day is gonna respond and counter or defend this. It looks like they they're not really sure what to do now. Oh, good boy. decision. They're going for the phase gate. Yep. This is great. The hive will go down. Yeah, and they can't get to the phase gate in time before it shuts down. There we go. That's it. But the beacon. What's, what's oh, the they're beacon? using the gorge tunnel. They're using the gorge tunnel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 92% versus 86. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 34. 33. Oh, so close. Oh my god. That was so close. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I was standing up! I was standing up! Man, wow, I did not see that Whoa. coming. Oh my, oh wow. my god, guys! Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy... I that was, was so close! 